All right, guys, welcome back to Relegation Battle. As you can see, it's a very different episode today. Uh, myself, Tom, Jack, and Ty are joined by the boys from the formation, Devin, George, Harry, and Sam. It's head-to-head, -head, us against them. Uh, and I'm going to hand it straight over to our host, James. So here's a quick explanation of how each round will work. And don't worry if you don't get it, because James will explain before each round starts. So for round one, each team will get three questions about the Premier League. Simple as that. Round two is a bit different, though. One member from each team is nominated to answer five questions by the team they support. They must answer on their own, but they can ask their teammates for help on one of their questions. Round three is very similar to round one, but rather than three questions of the Premier League, it will be three questions on world football instead. And then to finish off, round four will be a who am I round. Both teams will receive the same clue. The first member from a team to put their hand up will get to answer the question. There will be a maximum of three clues. If you get the answer on the first clue, that's three points. Second clue, that's two points. And the third will be one point. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to check everyone's links in the description and let, hit that like button. Thank you very much, Joel. Um, yeah, we'll get we'll get going with round one then. Premier League general knowledge. So you each get obviously each team gets three que three questions each. Yeah. So uh, I'll, I'll go to relegation battle first. You can have this first question. So obviously the Premier League was sort of brought in in the modern era in 1992-93 season. But how many teams competed in the league that season? All right. I want to say Wait, 20. Yeah, yeah. I want to say um, 22. Yeah, yeah I, I was, was thinking 22, 22 or 23. No, I think it's 22. Yeah, I ain't got a Scooby. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, if you two go 20, I was, mine, mine was I'm pretty sure so. they got rid of numbers to make it more. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely easier. over 20. I'm, I'm happy 22 then. Alright, um, we're looking in 22. Good lad, 22 is a correct answer. Fair play. Yeah, cool. Fair play. <laughs> Can I ask, James, do we do we get to Stop. steal if they get it wrong? Oh, oh it's not up to me. Oh. <laughs> no, you're, you're, in, you're in charge. You're, yeah, you're in charge now, James. Mate. It's up to you. James, I absolutely love your work. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> steady on, Dev. Steady on. Um, Go on, information, guys. What's uh, your first question? Is in what country did Arsene Wenger manage before Arsenal? Oh, the Juve. I, I, I thought I thought he I thought managed was in Japan. Japan. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah, Japan. Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think it's Japan, I, I'm yeah. not sure, so I'm I'm happy to go with that. No, I think I think you're right, guys. Japan. Lovely, lovely. If it's wrong, I'm sorry, Sal. <laughs> No, I think right. Japan, it, Japan is the correct answer. Well done. Yes. Yes. Well there, done. there we go. Well done. All right, we'll we'll, we'll up, up the, up the difficulty think. a little bit now then uh, <laughs> for relegation battle. So who is the only player from out, born outside of Europe to score over 100 Premier League goals? Outside of Europe? Outside of Europe? Must be Aguero, born right? outside of Europe. Yeah, Aguero. Yeah. Aguero, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, right. I've, I've messed that up. So... <laughs> <laughs> Aguero tend, like Aguero is another one but they, obviously when I'd done my research this was before Aguero was here so other than okay. Aguero then we'll oh, edit okay. the question other than Aguero um, born outside of Europe um, I think uh, um, over 100 Premier League goals I think he, did Dempsey get to 100 Clint Dempsey I don't think he did all right. What York? Did he go over York, York did bang goals in. That's on your side, Jackie's main line player. I'm, I'm just trying no to... idea. On outside of Europe. Let's try. Are we allowed a clue? <laughs> oh, I don't think so. I'm, I'm, I'm not having that. I'm not greedy. Um, <laughs> you don't ask, you don't get. Um, yeah, I've got I've got no idea. I've got no idea. If you're going to go to Dwight York, I'm happy to go for that. No, I, I was just trying I to think know, because I, I nearly banned goals. But Wait, I don't did know. he score I'm a lot? Sure outside of Europe, 100 goals? 100. Yeah, yeah. How much has Drogba got? Oh, shit. Yeah, so you, yeah, yeah. yeah. What kind of Chelsea fan are you, man? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I was trying to think. Are we saying Drogba got 100? Are you sure he's got 100? You get yeah, over 100. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was on 100 the other day. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was on Sky uh -huh. Sports the other day. 
I think we're lodging in Drogba then. Yeah. Oh, so my my research has been horrendous. Drogba is a correct answer, but the okay. answer I know was Dwight York. So you could have had either of those. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. This is not it's not a good start. It's not a good start. But yeah. You get a point for that because it was my fault that Oh, they got all of them in the end. <laughs> yeah, technically, yeah, fair play. Um but formation guys, uh obviously Manchester United have won the most Premier League titles with thirteen. But who's second in that list? I think it's Ooh. Chelsea, isn't it, guys? Chelsea. Yeah. I mean, Chelsea are on five. City are on four. City are on five, aren't they? As well. Seven, 12. So is it... Arsenal, Arsenal are on three. <laughs> City got three. In... <laughs> City, 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 got... City got three in a row now. Well, not three in a row, sorry. Three yeah, out two. of the last... They're, yeah, they're maybe... two. And then Liverpool won, and then they won again, and they won one with Pellegrini, and they won and with then, Mancini. Yeah, so they're on five. So they're on yeah. five. Chelsea, yeah. Chelsea won in 0-4. 0-4 oh, four then, and five. And oh, five and, and oh, aren't Chelsea only on three? They no, won they're, with, they're, they're, they're yeah. on more than that. They won no, with, they with Conte as well. Ancelotti. Mm. Fair enough. And one with two. Ancelotti, one with Conte, two with Marine. Three with Marine. Three with no, yeah. it is three with the second spell he got one, didn't he? Oh no, no, no. Um, the level then? The, no, but it, it, if we've got, we know that City have only won five. So if we've got five and then we're not sure of any more, then I reckon. Yeah, Chelsea, that's a good point. So they might have next one. Trying to think point. of when Chelsea, Chelsea's other one would have been. Did did they win two under Mourinho in his first spell? Yeah, yeah, they went back to back. Yeah. Right then he came back and won another nine, one. Nine, ten. Right. I don't know. This could be James's research as well as we <laughs> so, uh, I think. I think we go Chelsea. <laughs> that was my. That was my instinct. Right. Was Chelsea. I'm going Chelsea. Chelsea. All right, I've, Chelsea. We'll, yeah. we'll Chelsea. lock it in. Well, you'll be happy to know you could have had one or one or two. I just didn't tell you because I like watching carnage oh. unfold. So it wasn't oh. Chelsea or City. So you get the All points. Right. Yeah, oh, there you go. Both have got five. Oh, um, oh dear. Is no wrong, no no wrong answers so far. Fair play, lovely. Fair play. Um, Start. Back to relegation battle then. So, uh, which active player has won the Premier League, La Liga, and two Champions League, Champions Leagues? Well, one with each club. Well, it's more than two Champions Leagues, but he's won one with an English club and a Spanish club. So, so is, he, uh, is he playing in the Premier right now? Uh, he's just an active player. Wait, can you repeat the trophies again, please? So he, he has won the Premier League, La Liga, and he's won more than one Champions League, but one was with an English club and one was with a Spanish club. Okay. Good so team. it's either a Liverpool, Chelsea, or a main nine player. But then if his main nine player is really old, so he's most Kovacic. likely a Chelsea or a Liverpool player. Or Kovacic. Or was. Kovacic. Oh, yeah. What was, what was the friend. titles? Yeah. No. So he's, he's, won, no. he's won the Kovacic. Premier League. La no. Liga. no. No, it's not Is Kovacic. Is he not? No, Kovacic isn't won the Premier League. Nah. Was he not with you at Conte? No, nah, he came the season after. Oh. Um, Liverpool players who played in La Liga. I think. Wait, so he's just he an won. active player now? Yeah. Yeah, he's still yeah, playing he, now. It, so they it doesn't necessarily friend. mean he's at Liverpool or Chelsea now. Yeah. That's the problem. Uh, well, surely Ronaldo fits that. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Like specification, because he's won Prem, La Liga, he's active, won Champions League with both United and Madrid. Well, if he fits the criteria, you can say him then. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're locking in Ronaldo. He's right. Locking in Ronaldo. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll tell you, he was one of two correct answers. Okay. The other one was Ger- Gerard Piquet. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair play. Fair Good play. Start, Again, boys. no wrong answers. Uh, and then final question of the round for the formation boys. So both Swindon Town and Oldham Athletic have played in the modern Premier League era. But who has played the most seasons in the competition? Devin, it's, just, it's got to be one for you, surely. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, um, 
my so, my first instinct was Oldham. I, I'm not sure why. I don't know. I think Oldham, yeah, Oldham were in first one. The I think era. they lasted about seven seasons. I'm not sure on this one. So, which one of us watched, like, spent the whole summer watching Premier League years? Can you remember Oldham <laughs> on there? <laughs> no. Well, if you think that Oldham have been there for seven years, surely they've got to be there longer than Swindon. Devon, who, who's saying that? Devin, I think Devon said No, I just said, I think they were in there for like seven seasons, but I, can't, I, I know, no I know that Oldham, Oldham were founder members, weren't they? Yeah. Just um, go Oldham then. I, 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 don't, I don't know. It would be a pun. I reckon one of them's got two, two. One of them's got one, and I'm guessing that Oldham survived the first season. Should we Let's go with go Oldham? Oldham. Yeah. Just yeah. Say, Oldham's got, it's got Oldham in the name for a reason. Yeah, um, we'll go for that. We'll go Oldham. The pressure's on, isn't it? We, we've got a... We've got a don't know this. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm a bit nervous, but we'll go with We've it. got an owl in the badge as well. That's got a bird well. Yeah. We're going with Oldham, right. James. You're locking in Oldham. I can yeah. confirm that one team spent two years in the Premier League, one team spent one. Oh, and the, okay. team, that, the team that spent two years... Was Oldham Athletic oh. <laughs> just about well, see, se- seven and two are pretty much two similar? <laughs> so it's a 50 50. Yeah, right, three all after the first round. Then competitive, Lovely. Game. competitive game. Uh, we'll move on to round two then, which is all about your club, as Joe will have explained. So we've got a rep- <laughs> representative from the relegation battle who will be talking about Tottenham and okay. a relegation from uh, a, a candidate from the formation. Who will be talking about Southampton? So, if you want to make yourself known, come on, Azza. Uh, yeah. Come on, Azza. Right. Tom. Do his frown. Do his frown. See, I didn't feel like there'd be this amount of pressure. And I was <laughs> so, standing so here with seven faces <laughs> looking at me. For the, for the yeah, second time this year, Southampton will be battling the relegation battle. <laughs> First of five questions then goes to the relegation battle. So, who was the last player other than Harry Kane to finish as Spurs' top scorer? Who was the last player to finish as Spurs' top goal scorer? Other than Harry Kane. How do you mean by history? Yeah, so the, the last. Who was the last player to finish as Spurs' top scorer before Harry Kane? In the Prem. Yeah, just just in total. So for a season. Oh, for a season. Oh, Jesus. I'm thinking Jermaine Defoe um, scored a lot of goals. Bale scored like 21 one season, but surely they've got more than that. I'm going to have to, I'm probably going to have to say Jermaine Defoe. You're locking in Jermaine Defoe? Yeah, we'll go for that. Sorry, boys. I can confirm you were incorrect. It was oh. Emmanuel Adebayor in 13-14. No way. <laughs> <laughs> oh. well, he's, he's put it in stands. Yeah. He's put it in stands. You've got to go down oh, in. Oh, dear. Oh. Right, no pressure then, Harry. So, right. former, which national team did former Southampton player Ken Wynne jones represent? Sure. It, it, oh... So I've got a few. I've got a few different countries in there. I'm thinking. So I want to say the Dominican Republic of Congo. I want to say that one, but I'm not. I'm not 100 percent sure. I can see. I can see a badge in the corner of my, like the back of my brain. But for some reason, it's just. It's either that. It could be Trinidad and Tobago. It could be. Do you know what? I'm going to go for that instead. I'm going to go Trinidad and Tobago. Is it going to be that one? It Final is. Answer. Correct. Well done. <laughs> I can... Well done. Devin I was suffering then. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I did look at Devin because I was like, I, I, it's going to make me nervous. I can, <laughs> I can sort of see the facial reactions out of the corner of my eyes. So, Try not to give yeah. it away. Exactly. I, I was just looking down. Right, advantage to uh, the formation then. So coming back to the relegation battle, so, in the summer of 2013, 12, 2014, wasn't it? Well, whenever Gareth Bale moved, obviously for a world record transfer, Spurs broke their transfer record three times in the same window. Can you name the three players that broke it? Good question. 
Um, right, I, know <laughs> Lam- I know Lamella was 100% one. We signed Ericsson, but I'm pretty sure we got an absolute bargain with him. Uh, Soldado was one of them. Wait, let me go from Churches, Ericsson, Chadley. I know it's definitely so. Lamella and Soldado is one of them. I'm trying to think of the other one. Do I have to get all of them for the point? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, harsh. Oh. <laughs> Are we allowed to suggest anyone? No, because really I feel like that's yeah. a waste. Because mm. I know the other two are 100% right. I just don't know this last one. I'm pretty sure Ericsson was cheap. Ericsson, Lamella, Soldado, Churches, Capu, Chadley. Who's the other one we signed? I think it was Fazio. Oh my god, I don't know who it is. Um, I'm just gonna have to guess. Uh, Let's go with. Oh my god. Um, I'll go with. Capu. I'll just go with Capu. Didn't you see locking in Soldado? Lamella. Uh, and Lamella Capu. and Capu. So I can tell you, yeah. Soldado and Lamella were the final two signings that oh both broke god. the transfer record. The first one, though, was Paulinho. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't even put him yeah. in a list. Thinking Lewis Holt for some reason. <laughs> uh, All right, question two for the formation, guys, then. You've got a bit oh, of a gap now if you get this on, right. Well, oh, don't say that. <laughs> right, I'm ready. So it's well documented that Liverpool generally get all their players from Southampton. <sighs> but since 2013, how many players have moved from Southampton to Liverpool? Right, let's let's get the let's get the pen and paper out. So we've got we've got Ricky Lambert. He's he, he left. We've got Lambert. We've got Lalana. We've got Klein. We've got Van Dijk. See, I don't know whether on your list you'll have Stephen Corker because he was at us on loan from QPR, and then technically he did go to Liverpool. Once he because he, he was re loaned out back to Liverpool and played as like a striker for some reason, so he could be on the list. So I've put him in like the little the, the brackets, I put Stephen Corker in the brackets. So we've got Ricky Lambert, we've got Lalana, we've got Klein, we've got Virgil van Dijk. There's an there's definitely at least two more, and I'm, I can't think for the life of me Come on. who there is, and it's going <laughs> to be so. It's going to be so obvious. It's going to be so obvious which one it could be. And I've just, I just sat here. Well, we've got Lovren. There we go. That's one. We've got Lovren. So that's one, two, three, four. That's five. I could, because there was a period where it felt like they were signing two. There's feel it felt like they're signing two a season. But at the moment, I can only think of five. And I feel like I'm just missing such an obvious player because there's so many that have made the transition. I'm trying to think. Lambert, Lalana, Klein, Lambert, Lalana, Klein, Van Dyke, Lovren. There's definitely someone else in there. There's definitely someone else. Just think of those five, and I, I give myself thirty seconds to think because I, I don't want to drag it on any further. But does um does Harry have to pick us to intervene, or can we um? Uh, Harry has to choose. Uh, I've yeah. got to choose, but then I, I feel like there's going to be another question at some point because yeah, I, I know just know, mean. I just know that I know there's someone else, and it's hurting my brain because I it's not, and probably probably yours as well because there's you can definitely <laughs> there's someone that's just sat there right in front of your face thinking yep. this is this is the player, and I just know there's I know there's someone else, I know there's I know there's someone else. I'm trying to think goalkeepers. We've, 
We've not Harry. sold a goalkeeper for them. Right backs, no, no more, no more right backs. Centre backs. We've given them Lovren. We've given them Van Dijk. It can't be anyone else. I'm moving to left back. The only one we got rid of was Shaw, and that's the United's. I'm trying to think central midfielders, but we got rid of Wanyama to Tottenham. We got rid of Lana, but I've already got him. I've already got him written down. It's, I just can't think of like a, a thirty million pounds. Come on. <laughs> Go on the, I can see so, right. <laughs> Sadio, right, Sadio Mane. That's one. That's one. One, two, three, four, five. So that's six. But I just feel like there was another one. I feel like there was some sort of dodgy, like hundred, like one million pound signing that we got. We gave them just to chuck off the sides. But I just, I can't think for the life of me who else there would have been. Because strikers are only land that's gone right size. I don't think there was anyone else. So one, two, three, four, five. I feel like there was eight, but I'm going to go with. I don't know if Cork is on your list, but I'm going to guess that he's not. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go with six. Six is the final answer. Six is correct. Yeah. <laughs> Just I, I, well can see, I can see George from Corner just going absolutely like I just I, just, <laughs> I knew they, there was they wanted to shout else. Sadio Mane. I so think like, everyone knew my name. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, I, I apologise. I, I feel like I should cover my camera up for the next. It's like because I knew I, I knew like there I was, was I knew there was one more. I and it I wasn't Mane thirty million as well. Yeah, he was you said, I feel like there was. was and he's the, he's the he's the one that broke my heart more than any of the any of the others to be honest. So I don't know how it took me that long to remember him, but yeah, that's the six. Yeah, there we go. Five three, five three to the formation boys. Then, so back to the relegation battle. Then, uh, which former Spurs defender famously claimed that he hated playing football and was only in the sport for the money? A defender. Oh my god. We're in trouble, boys. I'm not going to lie to you. Are we allowed to steal or not? Because <laughs> I know it. Yeah. Don't no, put the pressure on, Dave. Come on. Let, let, the, man, let the man think. Let the man think. Um, so he said man, that he, he likes... Who said that? Was that Jack? Yeah. But I don't want to... Just in case it's wrong. I mean, I haven't got a scoop I'm not even joking. I don't have a clue. If I had to guess, I'd probably pick someone like Bloody Sol Campbell, but I'd, I don't know. Um, That's it. Give it I've to never... Jack. You... Jack's got yeah, a Jack, you lot can help. I'll take. I'll use I, that. I, I, I think I know I it as well. I, I yeah. think it's Danny Rose. Yeah, it's Danny Rose. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. So go you, for it, Danny are Rose. Are you looking at Danny Rose? Said... Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> But yeah, yeah I, I, I do think it's, I remember him saying something like that. I mean, there was a thing about where, him. Wherever he said he's just in it for Chelsea. the money, I don't know. If, I don't know if he said that he's in it for the money, but I, he definitely said he doesn't enjoy playing yeah. football. Like, he's got uh, I remember that football. now. He done an interview, didn't he, when there was talks of yeah. Chelsea and Man United wanting them, and he wanted to leave. And he had a bust up with Poch. Well, that's I, I don't. That's anyone yeah. I can think of. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think that's, that's yeah, a fair Danny shout. Rose. Oh, yeah, looking it in. Yeah. Yeah, Danny Rose. Yeah. I can confirm that Danny Rose did say he didn't like playing football mm-hmm. because of the mental health issues, but there was no mention of money. Oh, the player man. that did oh, say he's that... Oh, he chucked a trick Asu on it, ben. <laughs> it was Benoit Asuakoto. He well, said, God. I don't like playing football. I'm just in it for the money in an interview. So, 5-3 still. Oh not my been, been a great round. No pressure, the, uh, Harry, but this could win it for you. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we so, go. Clean sweep. Question, question for the formation. Which player was Southampton's player of the year in 2005? <laughs> yeah, so I'll, I'll open this up. Devin, George, Sam, have you got any, have you got any nice. sort of ideas? 2005? I because I think it Kevin could be Phillips James played for you that Ooh, year. Yeah, it could be. I'm trying to think Kevin Phillips. Yeah, Would it be James B C is that is that too early? Oh, it could be it could be BT actually, because I think yeah. he was in that team. I remember because I had Norwich were promoted to the Prem the season before, so I had like a, a season review on video yeah. on a videotape 
of that Ooh. season, I can remember. <laughs> so I think Saints yeah. stayed up and we went down on the final day. Um, so J- James Beatty is my first thought, but then I was thinking, am I thinking too too late? Am I thinking too early? Is this is just before my time periods when I started watching? But then I don't think it was too early because I started watching 0809, and by that point, I think BT was BT. Well, BT was long gone. It was the day of Sean Wright Phillips and David McGoldrick when I got there. So they said by by the time then it had gone to Sheffield United, I think. Mm. Assuming assuming this is a fans award, BT was quite popular with the same. Oh yeah, he's, even even now he's like well, obviously when Kobe wasn't here, he's always in the pubs before the game. So I'm happy. I'm happy to. Yeah. I've sort of wasted my, go my friend, wild man. card option, but I'm happy to go with James BT. Yeah, let's go with that. You going James BT with your wild card option? Uh, I'll lock it in. <laughs> I I can confirm it was a striker. I'll give you that. Oh, uh, uh, don't say it's the, sh- the striker was Peter Crouch. Oh. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. I never would have got that. Too, fair, 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 I didn't. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Bad fair enough. Yeah, Game fair. on. Game on. Well, back to the relegation battle then. You need this really, don't you? Bit okay, of an yeah. important question. Who is the only Honduran to play in the Premier League for Spurs? Ah, uh, I think I know this. I think I know this. I think was he? The thing, person I'm thinking of right now is I'm trying to go back. I don't know. Just it's, now I'm thinking about it. He might be South American, but I'm pretty sure Wilson Palacios was. I'm pretty sure it was him, but then I think Hassan Garni. Yeah. I'm going to lock in Wilson Palacios. I think that's the best answer I can give. Back on the board, it was Wilson Palacios. Hold uh, on. Okay. Now Hold the fresh is on. Bit of a, a road question for you then, Harry. Bit, it's oh, a bit different. Right. Oh, dear. So, which Barcelona legend once said Matt Letizia was his childhood hero? Was that Xavi? Very I'll, I'll lock it in. Very quick. He locked in Xavi. That is correct. Well done. Oh, straight, well done. Oh, <laughs> straight in. That was quick. <laughs> That's yes, too quick, if anything. <laughs> <laughs> so was just fair enough. Yeah. Well, honestly, if you've got one player... We've only got one club legend, so anything about him, you know straight away. Mm. Um, actually, no, I'm going to take that back, just in case there's another one. I'm going to take that back very quickly. Yeah, let's let's see much. if one of his tweets so, up. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Uh, it's maybe not because of that, actually. Yeah, fair play. I feel, I, I feel like this may... I could be wrong. I feel like this may be a little bit harsh now, um, the question I'm about to ask. But back to relegation battle. So Tottenham won the League Cup in 1999, beating Leicester 1-0. But who scored the last-minute winner? There's no chance I'll get this. I know I know the game. But I don't know. I'll just have to guess. I'd probably go with someone like Sheringham, something like that. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's like someone I've that's not even a striker. Wouldn't be, I think Sheringham was there at the time. Yeah, I'll go with Teddy Sheringham because other than that, I won't. I don't know. You got Teddy Sheringham locking it in? Yeah. Uh, that was the wrong answer, I'm afraid. It was Alan Nielsen. I don't okay, know who yeah, that I, is either. I know, Same I know. Um, final question then. Still 6 4, the formation, boys. Uh, former Saints defender Cedric was born in what country? See, he's Portuguese, but because you've said that, it's making me think somewhere else. And unless you've thrown in an absolute curveball somewhere, it could be genuinely any country unless it is Portugal. Because uh, it seems like otherwise it's it's too the question was too easy just because obviously he's won the he won Euro 2016. He was here for four or five seasons. And I, I'm not, I've honestly, I've got absolutely no idea. So I'll say a random country. It's going to be France. We'll say France. I've got, honestly, I've got no idea. I've lock, I'll lock in France. You're locking in France? No, I've geographically, got honestly, geographically, you're pretty close, but it was Germany. So it oh, that was the. Remains 6 4 to the formation, boys. Mm. Not the worst. Um, 
Good effort, Harry. Not the worst. Good effort, right, Harry. Uh, well. Close. we'll move on to round three then. World football general knowledge. So obviously, again, you both both teams get three questions each. We'll start with the relegation battle. So there's only three people that have won the World Cup as a player and a manager. Can you name two of them? Uh, Beckham, Bauer and Deschamps. Yeah. Mm, I'm pretty two. sure they're two. Yeah. We, need two. we need two, right? Yeah, two of the three. Yeah. Well, Deschamps, okay. 100%. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Beckham Power has done it as well. Fairly certain. I mean, only two. Yeah. Unless so we I mean, go with them then. Unless. Do you know the I don't know about Beckham Bow, but if you think he has done it, because I don't remember him managing, to be honest. But if you think it's right, then I'd go with that, because I can't think of anyone else. No, I can't think of a third one, but no, no, I can't. All right, um, we'll lock in Beckham Bauer and this chump. Fair enough. I'm, I'm glad I didn't ask for all three now, given that. But the three you could have had Didier Deschamps, Mario Zagallo, and friends Beckham Bauer. Yeah. So well done. Okay. Six five. We've got that. Nice and Joel. The confidence from Joel there was yeah, straight wow. in. <laughs> Six five then. The gap's closed. No pressure formation. But your first question, I'm quite glad I gave you this one now, given that you're ahead. Which Spanish club's nickname, Los Cholchoneros, translates as the mattress makers? <laughs> oh my goodness. Jesus. Right. Oh my. That's right, since, since it's very since it's quite hard, I'll give you a clue. They are in the top half of the well, they did finish in the top half of the Spanish league last season. I thought See, you were going to say, said that. a clue where they, they play in Spain. I thought that's what you were going to say, so like that. Just, just, oh. repeat, just repeat the uh, nickname in your best Spanish accent again, James. <laughs> I, I might do a full, full British one. Uh, Los, Chol, Los Cholchoneros. Cholchoneros. Right, so who finished in the top half of the division last <laughs> season? So, right, we're thinking Villarreal finished the top half. It's not going to be Barcelona. Yeah. It's not going to be Real Madrid. I don't Seville. think it'll be Atletico Madrid. It could be Seville, but then... Real Sociedad or... Mm. Can yeah, I throw in a massive... Well, that last Palmer or something like that. <laughs> Harry, I, I, like, high. I like the Villarreal suggestion, not because I've got any idea, but I think... <laughs> That they would be in James's mind after yeah. they. Oh wow! Wow! And, <laughs> and, and he might, and he might have heard it. Can we not? He might have heard it on the Europa League. Insult Calvary. the quiz masters team. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> no, we've we've got to film one after this, you know. So now it's, I'm really, I'm just going to so switch the questions really now quickly. Now it's five all. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm happy. I was thinking Villarreal before, and then when he had the caveat of the top half and the, I. And it's not a niche club, but it's it's more niche. No, they're playing France. The obvious... <laughs> I can't see. Um, oh, that's, right, that's minus one point for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm... Should we just it's go for the real? Yeah. I mean, I... yeah, go for it. Which one do you think? Because you're about to say something there, Sam. Is there something else no, in your mind? No, it's just guesswork, mate. Yeah. Did you learn I'm anything at A-level? Sam, this is, why, this is what you needed to learn when you were Didn't doing learn about Spanish. teams' nicknames, but... <laughs> Ridiculous. What did you teach it? Go on, Harry. Right. You, you put it in the ring, so you submit the final answer. We'll go for Villarreal as the answer, final answer. You going Villarreal, locked in? Well, yeah. first, don't take the mic. It's still a sore subject. Second, <laughs> I'm glad to say you are wrong. It's Atletico Madrid. Oh, yeah. oh it is Atletico Madrid. Madrid. Oh, it's it's real real yellow Madrid. submarine, I think. Their nickname. Oh, yeah. Fair yeah, good point. Oh, yeah. Good point. Harry. Six, oh. six five. <laughs> yeah, sorry. What are you thinking, Harry? <laughs> Obviously. The second oh. round is redundant now. We've, we've not, we don't forgive you anymore. <laughs> right, back to relegation battle then. So a Euros-based uh, question. So with three titles each, which are the two most successful teams in European Championship history? Uh, Germany. 
Why? Uh, Spain came yeah. from ahead straight away. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah Spain I definitely got three, won. I think. Yeah. Spain have got two, haven't they? Who? Spain. They've only got two, oh, haven't they? I think they got three, no? Nah. Has Portugal won any before? Because obviously they won in 2016. Italy have had some good teams as well, and they just got another. So, Jesus Christ. I can't remember Portugal doing much before. No, like, I don't think it's Portugal. Winning. Because they got to a I couple of finals. Well. France, so France won in 2000, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think they got one under when Platini was playing as well because he got like nine goals in those five games. But I don't know if he got a third one. Um, Germany I like, have three, right? Yeah. Germany. I can't remember Germany any in terms of ones I've watched, but. What about Italy? Because well, we know they just got one. Yeah. Um, they had some good teams over the years. But, I know they yeah. won the World Cup though. That was so yeah. they were quite dominant. But then I don't know. But then didn't we just say France won the Euros before Italy just won the World Cup? Because you two, said oh four was Greece. Yeah, Greece. Yeah. yeah. Two thousand was <coughs> France won, won it. Yeah, two thousand was France. I'm pretty sure. Um. Yeah. And then I think 96 nice. was, was it Germany or West Germany? Germ- West Germany. Germany, yeah, or German, yeah, one of those two. So, see, that's the thing, West, like West Germany or Germany, however you want to say it, they were quite dominant. They're always yeah. in finals against like Netherlands and always beat them. That's oh, what yeah, I'm thinking. Dutch. Nah, the Dutch used to lose a lot of finals. I would not back them for me. Yeah. I'm not gonna like Spain is one I'm that I want to sure. go with. I'm yeah, I just think because they won. I remember when they won World Cup, and I know it's World Cup. They won the World Cup and the Euros back to back, so they were dominant for a bit as well. They won two Euros then, but I know it was the first World Cup they won. But I'm, I don't think. That's, I, yeah, that's, yeah, it was the first World Cup. I'm not mm. sure if it's the first Euros oh, in 08. Um, I feel like but, it was. All right, we're taking quite a while on this, so. Yeah, we've only got half an hour time limit. <laughs> she get time again because that's the time. All right, yeah. All right, let's talk something in. What do you think? So, we'll go I'm, Germany. All right. I think Germany. Yeah, that's we're locking one. Germany. Good. Then Spain, Spain or France. Are you sure? Yeah, right. Are you sure on Spain? I'm, I'm not like, sure, no, but I'm, I'm not like sure now. 80% I'm not sure. sure. I'm not sure. On France, but every time you right. ask, am I sure, it's slowly decreasing God, as well. <laughs> You know, I'll back myself. Really All right, Germany and Spain, lock it in. Germany and Spain locked in. Like, I'll reveal, I'll, I'll get rid of a few of your guesses first. So, France, two. Italy, two. Portugal, only one. And the two teams with three are Germany and Spain. Yeah, yeah shut up, Tom. Yeah, oh, I've got a Germany one. You can shut up. <laughs> but Istanbul in front of our eyes. Pressure on uh, the formation, boys, then. Uh, <sighs> your question... Is Lionel Messi famously retired from international football after defeat in the Copa America final? But in what year? Wait, there's no steals, is there? I, mean... I think it. I think it might be 2015. Messi. All I'm going to say is, if any of you read my article the other week on this, you would know the answer. Oh no! Wait, yeah, and when wait, when wait. I read when I read Joel's article, I'm afraid. <laughs> 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 I thought it was like it's... 2017 after, because mm, thing is, how maybe. how often is the Copper America? Is it as as often as like the Euros and the World Cup every four years, or is it more common than that? I think it might be every two. You think it's think every it's two? Common. Years? Yeah, yeah, maybe it is. Because I think it obviously 2014 is when Higuain scored the offside yeah, goal. Cause he lost the it? World Cup final, and then yeah. <clears throat> Which you were a little would, bit. It was. Bad. It was like it was chilly on penalties, wasn't it? I think something would, like that. Um, I don't know what temperature. Would it the Copa huh? America have been played last <laughs> year had it not been for COVID, or was it always scheduled for this year? Do we know? Do we know that? Because I, I, I don't know if it's odd or even years. I'm trying no. to think. 
we should have read Joel's article as, a, as yeah. the answer, really. Yeah. <laughs> and Joel, where can they find that article? <laughs> well, <laughs> international.com or my Twitter page, Joel Speeder <laughs> underscore. Right? You know, I don't know. Uh, oh, should we go with Sam's answer? Yeah, or? I think so. I'm thinking 2015, but I'm not Sam's sure. Sam's the, the big Messi fan, so we'll... Uh, we'll allow it. I'd we'll have allow done it. Not too, but really, sure. really Sam. Really Sam's. Oh, just part the pressure on Sam's. Uh, go on. Go on, Sam. <laughs> yeah, we're going 2015, reluctantly. Uh, going 2015. I can confirm neither of you were right. It was 2016. Oh, yeah. oh. Jeez. Down the middle. Unlucky boys. That's it. Six two, all. Two, Game two on Two-point leads are dangerous. To, uh, oh. Right, last last question of this round then for the relegation battle. It's a true or false question. <laughs> so true or false. Sir Alex Ferguson once managed the Scotland national team. Jack, this on you. You should know this. Who is that? Aberdeen, I'm pretty sure at some point. Yeah. I don't remember him doing the national team no, yeah, but Chad, this is no one, your manager. No one ever talks about. Yeah. I like think all the people that talk I've about never it. ever. Everyone, yeah. everyone talks about him coming from like Scotland, but not the Scottish national team. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but what if it was like really, really early on in his career and like just because he was unsuccessful, no one talks about it. Yeah, but if he's sure unsuccessful, people, like, people would have talked about people it. People would, would, would talk about it. Like, Jack, I, it's, I reckon this has got to come from you, really, because it's. I'm oh, Man United's force. Yeah, I don't have a clue, so I'm not going to comment. False. Because it's so you obvious, it's false. Maybe, but yeah, that's false. what I'm saying. Yeah. False. I know, yeah, but yeah, I've got to go false. I've never heard Locking anything about false. It. Yeah, yeah. Incorrect. Oh. It's true. Roger. He he led oh. them yeah, to like... the ninety. He led them to the nineteen eighty six World Cup. Wow. Yeah. You never heard anything wow. about it. No, and even you can hear that on the One so. United podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you have watched that episode that's last week. <laughs> Right, advantage formation then. So you've got a true or false quiz, uh, true or false question as well. So true or false, Thomas Muller is actually a keen chess player and even once won a Bavarian chess tournament. <laughs> I, th- I think it's, I think it's got to be true personally. No, but then it could be like a, a thing where actually it was like Cluedo or something rather than rather than chill. Like it, it'll be good at something. 50, is, 50, it nece- yeah. Just... is it necessarily? Is it necessarily chess? I, I can pick footballer. It's going to be playing, playing chess. I can, I, yeah, I can see him playing yeah. chess. Seems like, you know, he likes his wordplay, Lewandowski, yeah. and maybe he's <laughs> yeah, maybe it's yeah. Scrabble instead. I, I'm really clutching the at straws I'm... there. I I oh, think nice. we go. I think we go true, but I, it, like we say, like... really. I'm happy to go with true, but uh, my, my um, worry is: are you always going to have a two trues in a true? And that's, that's the thing. You, you want to go percentages? Oh, no, we can't. Well, we, we can't worry to... about that. <laughs> well, we've watched enough Richard Osman's <laughs> after games to know that this doesn't tolerate sometimes. So. I think. I think yeah. we go. I think we go true. Right. Well, let's have if true wrong, James. If it's wrong with you're Glenn lock, George. You lock it in true. That is incorrect. It's false. Oh, you George. <laughs> Who 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 is the chess player? Or did you just make it's it just, up? Just, I just made it up on the spot. That is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> you fooled us. Right. Oh, six yeah. all. Right. Six all after three rounds as we go into our final round of Who Am I? Just a reminder, there are double points on uh, up for grabs in this round. So you get three clues. You get a, Obviously, you get a guess with each clue. First person to put their hand up in the little chat goes first. So, first round for three points. I won the Premier League before I had even won an international cap. Hmm. Oh, there's so, there's so many. So yeah, many. That's too many. If 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 we go. I think I know who it is, but I'm... raise your hand then, Tom. Really? Raise your hand then. Oh, I don't know. We just mean, it just means we have to. It's a lot of players, surely. Go on then. So I saw Tyrese with. I saw right. Tyrese with his hand up first. I, Over I to you. Say the one I'm thinking. Uh, I was thinking Foden. 
You locking Foden in? No. I don't know. No, yeah, no, no. Do, it, do, it, do, it, do it, do it, do it. Do yeah, it. do it, do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You lock yeah. in Phil Foden. Yeah, Suddenly yeah, yeah. you have a six point lead. Come on. Yes, Tom. Right. Come oh. on. Oh, he has what? clutched it. How? <laughs> I'm literally going to say that. Foden. So many players it could have been. I thought it was the yeah, yeah. Just for, for the sake of it, the two other clues was I'm younger than 23 and I'm a regular star in the Manchester City team. Oh, that's just because James loves Man City, isn't it? <laughs> Obviously. Hold on, yeah. Ty. Massive fair play, oh, fair play. <laughs> So, I wish I'd have just played it earlier and said stuff. Well, so, like so, <laughs> right, here we go. Player number two. I won two Premier Leagues, the second of which coming in 2017. Oh, mate. <laughs> you won two Premier Leagues. Tyrese is hand up again. Okay. Incorrect. No. So you get a free run at it formation. You're free to All conquer right. it. So Chelsea were... won it that year, didn't they? Chelsea. So I'm thinking who's... in the team. So who who's in their team? Marcus Alonso. Did you the, fir- the first in 2017. Oh, I tied the it second. The second in 2017. Chelsea um, haven't won it since, have they? Technically, no. you could say Mark Schwarzer, but I don't. Oster. Oh, I, I like that from Harry, but I like the Schwarzer. It, it, it could be Mark Schwarzer. Because oh technically, he, he, won, he won two in a row, didn't he? Without yeah, playing the game. he's like the yeah. Diego Costa was in the Reno team as well. That would have been his second. I like. I think. The Schwarzer one, something like that, had come up on a heel night as well, wouldn't it? Yeah. Should we go right. right. You can go well, should, we give, should we give yeah. it? Should we give it a go? Right. Yeah. We'll lock in Mark Schwarzer, and then if it's not, we can immediately try and see what happens for the next one. But yeah, we'll go for that. You're locking in Mark Schwarzer. Yeah. We'll give it a go. That's, in, that's incorrect. I'm afraid. Harry. So, <laughs> Clue number two then. Uh, I switched my national allegiance during my time at Atletico Madrid. Joel, Diego Costa. Oh. Yeah, <sighs> Diego Costa. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. Sorry, it was. Points. Sorry, Sam. Four no. points to Joel's team. The relegation battle. So that's it. Mm. That's the that's the quiz done. Uh, mighty, mighty comeback. The relegation battle win by ten points in the end, sixteen to six. <laughs> well done, boys. Over to Joel. All right. Well. Oh, yeah. win, boys, but that is only the first part. The formation could bring it back in the next episode, and you can check that on their channel. I'll leave a link in the description. But yeah, um, head over to there right now to see how we got on. Until then, have a nice. Before I think it's time to talk. I think it's time we say-